begin with breaking news. We've learned the mother of a six month old baby is facing multiple charges in the child's death, including involuntary manslaughter, homicide. 40 year old, uh, 40 year old Latoya Powell's goes from grieving mother to defendant at the same time. The alleged hit and run driver that caused the two car crash last week is also charged. Seven investigator Jim Kurtzner is live downtown at district court to break all of this down. Jim, how did this happen? Glenda and Stephen, let me tell you, this mother is facing charges, including drunk driving and driving with a license suspended. She talked with our Kim Craig last week. More on that in a second. I can also tell you the father of this baby came here to 36th District Court himself this afternoon when he heard that the other driver, the alleged hit and run driver, was going to be in front of a judge, but that dad did not know at the time the mother was also charged. They had to be high or something. Boom. Latoya Powell's is now charged with driving super drunk, a blood alcohol level above 0.17, involuntary manslaughter, homicide, driving with license suspended, and child abuse for allegedly not having three of her kids in seat belts. They were all riding in this blue van on Puritan at Archdale when they were hit by the Silver Grand Prix. You just T boned us and hit us real hard, flipped us over. You see, all of us flying out of the car and you just kept going like you didn't have a care in this world. The alleged hit and run driver is 31 year old DeAndre Cotty charged this afternoon with leaving the scene of an accident causing death driving with a suspended license but not involuntary manslaughter. The reigning judge did state that then corrected herself in court confusing the two cases. He should have been charged with the manslaughter uh, or even a higher one second degree because he knew he shouldn't have been out there driving. The crash killed six month old Demetrius Brown Jr. and critically injured two daughters ages two and four years old ejected in the rollover and a 12 year old son was also injured. The father did not know Latoya was facing charges when he told us about her this afternoon. I just left her. She's not doing too good physically and mentally. Now, I just checked with Detroit police. Latoya Powell's has not been arrested. Police have been looking for her this afternoon, and that search continues at this hour. Glenda, Stephen. Talk about the penalties for involuntary manslaughter versus just leaving the scene of a crash causing death. Yeah, that's a great question. I did look them both up. They're actually equal. 15 year felonies, even though involuntary manslaughter, homicide sounds more serious, but you have all the other charges involved in that. And for this mother, that includes driving super drunk. That'll all have to be sorted out here in court. Oh, wow, Jim. All right, thank you for the update.